Hi guys, you're welcome to Allogenous Ideas. Let me quickly show you how you can run a Jupyter Notebook on your Android um, device. So the first thing to do is to go to your Play Store, look for your Play Store, then you're going to look for PyDroid 3, PyDroid, look for the application PyDroid. Android 3 so this is the application install it so you just wait till it's installed depending on your internet speed so just wait for it a bit okay so it's installing now it is done downloading from the Play Store So this is just a, a security scan that my phone does. Okay, so now I can open, you can open directly from Play Store as well, if your phone doesn't have this one. So just open from here and um, just continue. You can ch select anyone you want, maybe beginner. Um, you can choose anyone, but I'll choose the first one. Then for this other ones, Preserve files on exit. I like that theme and um, yes, I want this one too. So, okay, um, it's ready. Then I'll just cancel this for now, but if you don't mind paying for it, then no problem. So I'll just cancel. Now, the next thing I want to do, this is just a regular Python um, text editing interface. So. If I should come here and do something like print 7 and I run this, you see, it is giving me the 7. But this is not what I want. I want a Jupyter Notebook kind of something. So um, what you have to do is to install the extension for Jupyter on this PyDroid um, software on your Android device. So just open the tab navigation. Then what you want to do is normally you what, what you will do will be to, for you to go to the terminal over here then you type jupyter hyphen notebook then it will open the interface but you need to in install it first before you do that so come back then come to under pip so you can decide to search using just type jupyter here then you click on Jupyter, please. You have to make sure it is correctly spelled. So Jupyter, or you come on that quick install, then you will see all these other packages you can install, but Jupyter is the one we want. So you can just click on this install over here. Now, um, you have to install the PyDroid repository plugin, still from Play Store, before you'll be able to install any packages on it. So just click on get the plugin and it will take you back to Play Store where you can install the repository plugin. So um, it is installing now. Just give it a few minutes to install. Okay, it's done now. Okay, you can see that it's, in, it's installed now. So. Just wait for the security scan. Your phone may not have all these ones. You don't have to open it from here. So you don't have any business opening from here. Just, it will take you back to, just um, click this back button and it will take you back to the PyDroid um, application. So you can see it is now installing it. You can see it is installing it. It is downloading all the dependencies from the web and basically setting Jupyter Notebook up for me on my um, Android device. So just wait for it. You need internet to do all this, just by the way. So just give it some time. I think it is done installing now, but you wait for it to send you the complete notification. It will send that complete notification. When it sends it, then everything is good to go. Just wait for it patiently. You can see it is sending the 
complete notification and it is telling me that um, it cannot install Kiwi with no problem. Kiwi won't stop the Jupyter, um, the Jupyter notebook from running. So now we have the Jupyter notebook installed, we can go and start the Jupyter server. Then from there, we go to the web browser where we'll be writing the code proper. So how do you do that? Very simple. You can now go back, then open your terminal. Then from the terminal, so just type Jupyter, then iPhone notebook. And this will start the Jupyter server. This is start your Jupyter server. You can see just the same way you would um, have it on. And it is even telling me that it, it, it has triggered the action to open a, a link on a web browser. That would be your Jupyter link. So just click on Brave. So you can use any web browser of your choice, but, but this is the one I'm choosing to use. So from here, the next thing you want to do will be to upload a file or create a new one. So if you want to upload, you can see the button here, but let me just create a new Python file. So it is asking me what type of file you can see Python terminal, a console, a new console or a new file, a new folder. Just click on Python. There's so much you can do with this. There's so much you can do with this. So, um, yeah, and this is my Jupyter notebook interface. Basically, just come here and um, you can print 27. Just close this and um, you see this play button over here. You can see, let's write a for loop for I in range maybe 10. Print I. and run it you see it is working just fine um if you want to rename this document you can just go back to this place and hold it you rename it to whatever you want and um yeah i think that is it that is it so there's just so much you can do with it there's so much you can do with it then i think that will be all that will be all. When you are done working with the Jupyter uh, server, you can just come back to PyDroid. Then from here, just click on this back and it will close the terminal. It will exit the terminal. Your Jupyter notebook isn't running anymore. So that will be all for this tutorial. Um, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, there are some links to some useful resources in the description below. So if you want to learn Python, you have the link in the description as well. So thank you very much. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye for now.